Hello everyone and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today we are watching Morlot in the Fuso, the tier 6 Japanese battleship. He is on the map, two brothers in a two point domination game mode. And it's a tier 6 battle, so quite decent matchmaking, although there are a lot of tier 6s around. There are two carriers but they are only tier 5. It's always nice in a battleship to see Areas who are lower tier than you. Now I got this replay from wowreplays.com and I will put a link in the video description. Here in the beginning of the match you can see the team is splitting, which is pretty nice. I prefer if a team splits up and covers both sides. Mollard decided to go here on the right side where he spawned, which seems pretty reasonable. There is a destroyer in the front who will hopefully Go over here and scout. You'll always want to get vision on the enemies. You want a destroyer in the front screening for enemy destroyers. Also, I mean, this is a Japanese destroyer. If he is somewhere here in the front, he can arrest the enemies with torpedoes. Oh, here is first enemy. He is sailing broadside on a... It turned like the moment Mordad fired his shots, which is pretty sad, but yes, somewhat to be expected. This Nuremberg realized he's under fire and he didn't want to get one-shotted, I guess. Now, maybe a few words about the Fuso in general. The Fuso is a great battleship. She has some impressive firepower and not so great armor compared to the New Mexico. What's also really impressive is the range. A fully upgraded Fuso shoots at like 21 kilometers. And you do have the spotting aircraft in addition to that. If you need a little bit more range for a short amount of time. Although it is pretty hard to hit things at those immense ranges, you won't meet a ship with the Uso, we probably won't meet a ship that really outranges you. So even if you end up being low tier, you are still quite competitive. This Nuremberg is probably trying to get away, but in the process he's showing his broadside. This poorly bit too much lead. Oh, but there was a hit. Now, so far, there are two enemies here on this flank. There are probably are some reinforcements coming. Friendly destroyer still hasn't really gotten close to the enemy. And there we go, there is an enemy destroyer. And yeah, I think this known Berg will regret showing his bro. There you go. Very nice shot. So there is an enemy destroyer around. Which means as a battleship you want to be careful. You don't want to drive into those torpedoes. There are cruisers around to help kill the destroyer. There's a friendly destroyer around to help spot. If he so chooses to do. The enemy might just be hiding behind this island. So you really want to be careful driving around it. And Molot has slowed down his ship probably throw off any already launched torpedoes and hey this new mexico is presenting his broadside which is great i think he realized his error and he is turning right now his cleveland is too far ahead and he is showing his broadside he probably won't live long should have stayed a little bit behind here now cruiser and this destroyer are engaging the enemy destroyer they will hope there is even a torpedo bomber helping out. And this New Mexico is once more showing his broadside. Now it seems that Molot has aged in reverse. If you are driving backwards in your ship, you sometimes can throw off the enemy if they aren't expecting it or they aren't realizing it, but you know, it, you, you are really easy to hit if you continue driving backwards, in my opinion. 
So I usually prefer to go forward, maybe very nice speed and some very, very nice hits. Now he is angled. He's angled towards this enemy battleship, but you could angle it better. Now he is angled this way, I guess, because he wants to use all his turrets. And the turret positioning, if you just face towards the enemy, you can only use one third of your firepower. So I understand why he does like this. I would probably just point my ship towards the enemy. And whenever the enemy has shot, try to turn a little, shoot my back guns and then turn back. But I mean, so far what he's done is working. He is driving forward once more. And now he's probably considering shooting the Aoba or waiting for the New Mexico. The New Mexico should come around this island any moment now and he's probably showing his broadside. The New Mexico has slowed down quite a bit. It could be that he's trying to reverse back. And Warlock once again has slowed down his ship, probably to throw off the enemy aim. Personally, as I said, I always like to go forward. I'd probably have tried turning around after the New Mexico fired shots. Think about the New Mexico is she is undoubtedly the better brawler. But the range of the New Mexico is very limited, so... F. It's just you against the New Mexico. Could try to stay like uh, 15, 16 kilometers away. And then New Mexico will be pretty much screwed because it's also a slow ship. She can't catch up to you. And yeah, I'm always saying a battleship, your battleship might want to be in the front, but there isn't really much support. This cruiser is for some reason. I guess he's returning to intercept this destroyer. And there are some enemy torpedoes incoming. Morlot is dodging them quite nicely. That's obviously one of the advantages of driving backward. A lot of destroyers won't expect that, I guess. Miss. Now the enemy New Mexico isn't moving either. He is quite nicely angled though. And the New Mexico has some really good armor. And there seem to be... Yeah, I'm not sure. There are probably some enemy reinforcements. When we look at those ships, they are all going this way. The friendlies have not pushed on the left flank. Might have been good if they just pushed. But they decide to instead come around here and defend. I don't think that would have been necessary at this point. Those ships seem to handle what's coming through the middle. And here on this flank, Molot prevents the enemy from pushing. He's pushing himself, but so far he is able to hold his side. So if they all had pushed, that would be where this battleship is now and could engage this force. His team would be better off. Also, I mean, this, this lone battleship pushing. And I understand why you want to push. But if nobody is following, sometimes maybe you just have to turn around with them. But anyway, so far this game isn't looking that bad. They are in the lead, they have more ships. And he just scored a few nice hits here again. This destroyer is a bit passive. I would have loved to see him a little closer, use his concealment and throw a little more torpedoes at those guys. Wallet is retreating a little bit now, which is probably good. I mean, there are reinforcements coming. All he has to do is hold out here, wait until they arrive and then push together this flank. This battleship here has died, which is unsurprising. I don't know why this battleship now decides to go down there and he's already here and probably should just follow his friendlies at this point. Now this Aoba is thankfully 
sending his broadside and yeah that's uh this salvo could have easily ended the aoba got a bit unlucky there well i mean the aoba got lucky now the aoba is turning around probably trying to get back into cover behind this island but let's see if he shows his broadside not really, but still not that well angled. Now, yeah, he's in a decent position. He can't shoot the Aoba and the New Mexico can't shoot him. As long as he is now he is reversing here, that's actually pretty good because it prevents him from pushing too far forward and getting into the fire lines of the New Mexico. And those other ships, I think they are still a little too far out to hit him. Even though those are Chinese battleships with very long ranges, I think they're still a slightly too far away. There you go. Now the Aoba is dealt with. Now he can go forward again and try to finish off the New Mexico. Might also be an argument for waiting for further reinforcements and... I'm not sure if you want to turn around your ships. I mean, you could drive in a small circle here and then push forward with... This is, I think, it's... Yes, it's in New Mexico. So this battleship doesn't have a lot of range. It will take a long time until he's in a position to actually support the team. And he's also the best armored of the group. This guy should be in the front. But... I know he can't teleport and at the moment all he can do is drive full speed that way now let's see if he can finish off the new mexico uh mainly new mexico is at very low health but yeah the way she's angled those shots didn't do a lot there are now those the torpedoes are completely wasted, there's no way this New Mexico will live long enough for any torpedo to hit her. And you know there isn't even an enemy destroyer left, this destroyer could just be a lot more aggressive, he could sit somewhere down here and really annoy those people with torpedoes and punish anyone who drives in a straight line. But, I mean, this is still anyone's game. There are cruisers around here. I guess they were a little bit... Watch them too closely. I guess they were a little bit too aggressive. Maybe they also showed the broadsides. There is a lot of firepower here. And those battleships all have immense ranges. So you'll have to be careful. And this Nuremberg will very soon find out what happens if you turn your broadside to a Fuso. Well, okay. Uh, he, he got lucky. This could have easily ended. Now this destroyer got taken out. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not sure what kind of destroyer he was. What his ra torpedo range is. Destroyers. Um, or... Usually you wanna, in a Japanese destroyer, you wanna stay out of range where you're spotted and shoot your torpedoes. It's been a while since I played the low tier ones, so I'm not quite sure anymore what the torpedo range is on this ship. I'm guessing it's somewhat of like 7 kilometers. Maybe I got lucky that was taken out, but... I still would rather see this destroyer get a lot more aggressive. I mean, Tsukis should have like 10 kilometer torpedoes. But it's not like they're gonna see him at 10 kilometers. He could probably. And the closer you get, easier it is for your torpedoes to hit. Because they have less time to change their course. 
Uh, on the bright side, the friendly New Mexico is probably in a position where he can help. Uh, on the not so bright side, the other battleship that was driving here got taken out. Now Morlet is firing his guns at enemy Fuso who is foolishly showing his broadside and yet yeah, that happens. Now Morlet is doing a very good job angling at the moment. He is pointing his nose at those battleships so they cannot hit him too well. And what he has done just now was great. He was in a position where he was able sh to shoot all his guns. And afterwards he immediately... Fortunately, the enemy learned from his error. Tries not to show his broadside anymore. Now this... Alvo could finish off the Congo if he gets lucky. The Congo is showing his broadside, and there you go. Hey, he got Confederate. Only one Citadel hit, but nice. Well, those enemies are all severely damaged, but so is Wallet. And this destroyer, from the way he has played so far, I don't think he will be able to do a lot against those ships. So. Uh, the carrier seems to have, I guess the carrier has an anti-air layout, which means he will also not be able to provide a lot of damage here. Hey, high caliber. Very well done. Uh, can't take any more shots. We might be able to finish off this Congo. The way this Congo is driving in next cell, we should finish him. Yeah, man. Kill the... Well, almost. That's, that's always disappointing if they survive with a sliver of health, especially if you are in position. Oh, very nice, those shots didn't do much. Oh. Yeah, well, this time it should finish off the Congo. And there you go. Unfortunately, it dies as well. Now the friendly destroyer has finally decided to move a little bit more forward, I feeling, and decides to go capture B. I mean, he could have done that five minutes ago. The New Mexico, and I think the replay is bucking around here. So, uh, yeah, don't think the New Mexico will stand a chance against those ships. The ships can just kite him. He is slow and he doesn't have a lot of range. Mexico is a great brawler, but if the enemy refuses, refuses to brawl, not sure what he can do. Maybe trying to end the friendly destroyers left the capsule for some reason. So yeah, I think I'll just end this here. It was unfortunately a loss. So what I forgot to mention is that the battle timer was almost over by the time the destroyer started to capture, so maybe that's why he left. But he could have started that a lot sooner. But generally, very well played from all that. Almost 1200 experience in a loss. Only two enemies managed to get more experience than he did. And, you know, he, with a little support, held one side of the map for a very long time. And gave his team an opportunity to push the other flank or do something with it. Unfortunately, the team wasn't that well coordinated. Some people decide to defend and others decided to push ahead. And they should have picked together better, I guess. I also find that the destroyer might have, should have been a little more aggressive. But, you know, I mean, things like that happen. 
and people are some people are always new to the game and still learning and there is absolutely no problem with that it was definitely a fun game to watch and Molot managed to get quite a few awards he got high caliber confederate he had a lot of hits he killed four people and i think he did like 135,000 damage so well played to him again thanks for providing this replay and i hope you guys enjoyed watching it i'll see you next time